<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, I feel like a little bit of a rant today. Now, as you can tell by the title, yeah, I'm not pulling any punches. Wait a minute. When do I ever pull punches in regards to what I have to say about the current state of the environment? Hmm. But this time will be no different. Now, the motivation behind this rant is obviously the thought pattern of a lot of black women in regards to money and certain TikTok videos from, of course, overweight uh, black women talking about why black women should help a black man build financially and the return of the meat sack from a recent trip to Japan and a particular gift she gave me. Now, I want to talk about my sister-in-law. Yeah, the meat sack's sister and her husband and how she actually won the bag. You see, she married a fisherman. Now, of course, as black men, we're typically not fishermen. However, that is a very lucrative business. Now, she first married her husband. He was just a low-level employee at a fishing company. However, he had aspirations. But guess what? She stuck with him. Of course, you know, through the meat sack telling me all of this, times were not good. Times were bad. But you know what she did? She stuck by her husband's side. Eventually, what happened? He decided that there was a particular type of fish that proved a little bit difficult to catch. He figured out a way to catch that particular fish and focused on catching that particular type of fish. You know what? Eventually, he got to a position to where he could go and start his own fishing company. Ah, you see? You see right there? He ended up solving a problem. He found a niche. She was right there supporting him the whole time. And guess what? Eventually, that's right, he started his own company. Very successful, by the way. Yeah, and the package of fish that she gave me, of course she translated it. It's their actual company brand, and it is very lucrative. They sell them for like, the pack that I got cost like $45 just for that small pack. Yeah, yeah. But let's transfer that back over to the States and the black community. So many black women, they don't want to build a bear. They don't want to actually go through the struggle of building with a man or a black man at minimum but a man in general, but they don't want to do that. The whole Ebony K. Williams debacle, once again, it just simply thoroughly reinforced what a lot of black men knew. The American black woman, hey, she does not have your back. Unless you are the perfect specimen out the box, she's not interested. She only wants the end product not go through the process of actually building, which is something that uh, we know one, um, the bald eagle loves to talk about. Black men haven't built anything. Black men haven't built anything, i.e. you haven't conquered the universe and just be able to hand it over to any and all black women, no matter whether they're worthy of it or not. No, 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 no. 
And the fact that she wants to sit there and say, call blue collar men mediocre. Wow. Just wow. Hopefully, this is just my hope. All or enough blue collar black men will start doing these three things. One, openly saying, I'm just going to send it out or I'm going to date out. That'd be the first thing. The second thing, start overcharging black women for any work that they do. Oh, I'm a black mechanic. Oh, black women are coming in to say, well, we got car problems. Well, you know what? That oil change you need, that's going to be about $300. Yeah. Third, get their passports, take their talents elsewhere. Because last I checked, a plumber, a mechanic, a bus driver, guess what? They can take those skills to another country. And guess what? Once they get past the language barrier, they can put those same skills to use in another country. Oh, that's right. That's right. The overwhelming majority of black women, they don't think that far ahead. That has been one of the biggest weaknesses of women across the board. No foresight. No thinking about the possibilities that things could go wrong. Now, we all know, we know this, especially during the lockdowns, our friend Charlie 19, there were a lot of women making back alley deals with blue collar men. But once again, that blue collar man was the quote unquote dirty little secret who was actually the lifeline helping a lot of these women patch their way through life. However, the Passport OG put out a recent video where he talked about how the blue collar safety net has been burned. And I say, great, great. Too many of these blue collar brothers are being taken advantage of. And I'm glad that Ebony K. Williams said what she said. I'm glad that the bald eagle said what she said. I'm glad more and more black women on TikTok are getting out there and putting their videos out about how they don't want to quote unquote struggle and how black women are quote unquote doing so much better than average black men. I'm glad black men, blue collar black men, young black men, you see what they think about you. Yes, you see it. They have no problems putting this stuff out. And the funniest part about it, here's the funniest part about it. They think by consistently shitting on black men that other groups of men are going to give them a pat on the head. No, 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 no. Other groups of men see this behavior and they see these women as treacherous, not trustworthy. Believe you me, the overwhelming majority of black women, they're not going to be chosen by other groups of men, especially for marriage. Why? Because these other groups of men, they are smarter than these women. They know, oh, these women, they only want to come over here to try to get that quote unquote mixed baby. Oh, no, 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 no. She gets a baby out of me. That means she's going to be in my pockets. I don't think so. Don't think so. But once again, the overwhelming majority of black women, hey, they hold contempt for black men, period. They have been thoroughly trained and conditioned to be that way. Obsidian said this a long time ago, and he got a whole lot of flack. However, it has come to pass. The biggest problem within the black community is not racism. It's the fact that black men and black women do not 
get along. And of course, there was all the gaslighting and this, that, and the other. Well, you know, it's 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 black men's fault. Da 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 da. No, no, no. Mm 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 mm. No, no. We all know where the blame lies. Guys like Steve Harvey. I already spoke about him and how he and the cohort that he, you know, panders to. They're irrelevant. Let's just go ahead and call this what it is. Gen Z, not Gen Z, Gen X, excuse me, boomers, older millennials. Look, we're all irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. It's the younger generation that was supposed to fix these problems for themselves. And guess what? When you got women like Ebony K. Williams, the bald eagle, when you got all of these pandering simps like Steve Harvey, Derek Jackson, yeah, the black community has, for all intents and purposes, been thoroughly destroyed. There is no rebuilding. There is no, you know, black men and black women coming together and actually figuring things out. No, 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 no. In this day and age, with all the information available on social media and through the internet and the black community still cannot, you know, put its differences aside and actually try to, you know, rebuild. No, it's done. It's over. It's over and done with. And I say, you know what? Hey, let it burn. All the small brothers who can leave are getting the fuck out of there. Period. Point blank. So, yeah. If you're a good, upstanding, hardworking, blue collar brother, do not be discouraged. In fact, be happy because now you have a clear picture of what they really think about you. And you should have no reservations about saying, yep, you know what? I'm gonna put my nose to the grindstone. I'm gonna stack my money and I'm going to leave. Hey, let Pookie, Ray Ray, let Keisha, let them have the smoldering remains of the black community. It's done anyway. So yeah, do not fall for the snares and traps that have been set to you, that have been set for you, younger black men. You see it. Hey, get your shit together. Don't care about what people say. Yeah, if they try to shame you for having a nine to five, you know what you do? Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't even bother with these drags. Don't bother with these hyenas. Get your shit together. That way you can make moves. And honestly, yeah, more and more younger black men are dating out or they're just outright leaving. And I think it's a wonderful thing. Hey, the black community has been thoroughly destroyed and all you have is a bunch of old people still trying to cling to old ideas who refuse to see what's really happening. So yeah, like I've always said, that is one of the biggest things about the black community is its refusal to actually grow the fuck up. Period. Yeah. Can't build with a bunch of outright disrespectful women and closing this rant out black men for the love of God stop trying to plead your fucking case with disrespectful women doesn't matter what ethnicity she is if a woman disrespects you you leave her ass period point blank. If you're in public, you get up, you walk the fuck away. If you're in her place, you get up, you walk out that goddamn door. If she's in your place, disrespect you, put her ass the fuck out. Stop. Just stop. Period. Point blank. Do not allow a woman to disrespect you. You walk the fuck away right then and there. Well, I've ranted long enough. Let me know what you guys think. 
How do you think about what my sister-in-law did, which is normal compared to what the black woman, or excuse me, the American black woman believes she's entitled to? Just saying. Well, let me go ahead and get out of here. Let me know what you think. And for black women, the American black women, specifically, you honestly think you have all of this power, which is nothing but a farce. It is a, an illusion, excuse me. Trust and believe. Once the system decides, which I've already put out a video called your services are no longer required. Once they decide to start cutting those um, lifelines, guess what? You're the ones going to be in a world of hurt because when the power goes out, Feminism, which you ultimately bought in, will go out right along with it. And believe you me, more and more people in the prepper community have said this, and I'm just going to go ahead and say it. If things really go down, the biggest group of people who are going to end up losing their lives are going to be the American black women. Hey, hey. You're the ones who put yourself in this position. So yeah, you better pray things don't go bad. However, what more can be said, things are going to get a whole lot worse. It is what it is. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am